I just want to make sure everybody knows that um, Joker Safi um, has 123 acting credits. Uh, so you have probably seen him in something. You've seen him at something. some point. But he's also a great director. Um, most notably, some stuff I love. One called Conjoined, which is a phenomenal film. And Lars and the Emo Kid, which are two fantastic movies. But those weren't his first directorial ones. No, they were before there. Uh, something that I remember uh, is Dead of Night. Oh, yeah. Uh, that you <laughs> yes. submitted to Texas Frightmare Weekend years ago. And uh, I love this movie. Um, I, I think I told you it was, I thought it was one of the, uh, ah, there it is, there Dead it is. of Night. You know, I like Dead of Night because it is a very original slasher genre. <laughs> it's, it's something Thank that... You. I, I thought so, too. I thought when I had this idea, I just kind of had the title, and I, I got the title in my mind, and go, oh, there's got to be something there. And the only reference to that title prior to us using it was a Knight Rider episode. Yep. And, and I had, I wanted to make a list movie out of it. So okay. I, I, and then I met up. I met Emilio Esciello, who is a, a screenwriter that I met through Ink Tip several years before that, and pitched him just the idea. Here's the title. It's the Boogeyman is a Knight, and it's a list movie. Here's the checklist. All the, the <laughs> list chivalry, chivalric traits. That's ah. amazing. Go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for guys aren't aware that is literally how it sounds. It's a slasher movie about a knight. <laughs> a knight is getting rid of people and. Boy, it was a very refreshing film because I like watching something where I'm like, well, this hasn't been done. Look, this is great. <laughs> it's so great. It's, thank you because it's, you know, every, everything's been done. It's so hard to come up with something original. Now, I'm not, not going to claim that we had a completely original idea because it's a slasher film. No, you did. But, it was all original. You know, you can all say it. <laughs> but I did try to put a fresh approach on it. When we were making it, I felt like, okay, this is not typical. Yeah, there is. Right. There's something else here than just chasing teenagers and college kids and killing them. Yeah, yeah, it, it was super original, and I'm a big slasher fan, so that one, that one definitely caught my eye when it came out, and uh, yeah, and I love it. it I was love it. Texas filmed, right? It was filmed in Texas. Yeah, all in Houston. For nice. The budget to get through production, I spent two thousand three hundred dollars. <laughs> I was just gonna bring that up. I see that on the uh, IMDb page. Twenty three hundred dollars. Wow. Yeah, but, but, this, the compromise was it took 16 months to finish shooting it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the drawback of having such a, a, you know, a low budget to work with? I'm sure there's a lot of drawbacks, but it, it's also got to be uh, kind of freeing and liberating in a way. It is a little freeing and liberating because you can start without being completely ready. You just, you just have to have that part you're going to film that weekend ready. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you can get that out of the way and then concentrate on the next piece. And when you don't have a budget, obviously it's unlikely you're going to have a production manager, or a locations manager, and all these people to help you get ready. So this was really just me doing all the pre production. And I could use the weekdays to plan the weekend shoot. Mm -hmm. And it, yeah, it was like, okay, this, I just got to get, I just got to prepare three scenes for this week. And that's all I need to do. I don't need to worry about the whole thing. Is there somewhere uh, you can point people to to see this movie right now? Yeah, I was going to ask that too because everybody needs yeah, to see this one. Even, it's on. It's on YouTube. It's if you have Roku, you can find it on your Roku channel. Okay. Uh, if you go to deadofnight.com, I think it's you can watch it right there on the website. Oh, cool! Oh, fantastic! So it's yeah. this one is easily accessible. It's very easily accessible, and you know, with a funny story is we it had been out for a few years, and we got a little a little boost when um, what's the youngest Kardashian released her, her uh, makeup line. Oh yeah. Uh, happened to be called, you know what it was called? Dead of night with a K. No way. <laughs> yes. So we, we, we popped up in, in her Instagram feed and people started hashtagging dead of night and we're in there. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. <laughs> it was really I, great. I even tried to uh, tag her on Twitter <clears throat> and sell her with the domain name. <laughs> Like, would you like to purchase it, Miss Kardashian? Would you like to purchase it? Deadofnight.com. It's open. $50,000. No. Oh, yeah. Afford it. <laughs> yeah, go she higher. can afford that. $35 million, you can have it. That's it. <laughs> We're not <laughs> messing around here. This is legit. I, it was, uh, I was like, ooh, maybe that, maybe that would work. I would, be, I would sell that website in a second. <laughs> so, Joe, let's go way back. So, how did you get into acting, directing? Was it acting first, right? That's where you started.